bien, bien, bien. bien. Hello friends, today I'm going to bring you a video on how to program your Bluetooth controller to your Manford Droid emulator. I'm going to show you how to program the buttons, the movements, and how to set it up, okay? So let's begin. Right now I have a Nico Bluetooth controller that I bought about five years ago at um, GameStop. And it's been pretty good, no issues so far. And let's go ahead and begin and program this controller. Whenever you connect this controller to your phone, and you open up the Manford Joy application, you start up a game. Once you move the Nico controller, it will automatically detect the controller. Meaning that you can automatically play. Um, you don't have to set up anything. You don't have to set up buttons or anything. The only thing is that the buttons that are predetermined they're not the ones that I, I want them to. So, okay, like on the X, I have the fierce punch, the strong punch. On the Y, I have the light kick. On this one, I have the medium punch. And on the B button, I have the light punch. And over here on the top, I have the medium punch and the medium kick, which I don't like, I don't want them there. So right now I'm just gonna show you how to program and set them up. And the way I, I usually set it up is I want here the light punch, here the strong punch, and that and the button A I want the light kick, and the B button I want the strong kick, and over here I want the medium, medium punch, medium kick. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and hit options, settings. We're gonna go to input. Then from there we go external controller. And define keys. We're gonna hit player one, but you're gonna get a message that says, gamepad auto detected is enabled. Meaning that whenever you connect it, it will automatically uh, you don't have to program anything. So what we need to do, we need to disable this. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. And we're gonna go to mode. And instead of having control auto detection, we want general multi-controller. Okay, now let's go to define keys, player one. There you go, we're in. Okay, and here on our right side, we have all zeros, meaning that they're not programmed. Whenever they're programmed, you have a number one. And over here on the left, we have the buttons. Okay, and to start off, we're gonna go up, up on the controller, down on the controller. And then we're gonna hit left, left on the controller. Right, right on the controller. So that's already programmed, that's basic. So on the buttons are kind of difficult, but just bear with me. I'm gonna go step by step. And let's go ahead and, I made a little sketch, like a little notes. Like for example, like for, for button A, it's the weak punch. Button B, it's a medium punch. Button C, it's a strong punch. Button D, it's a weak kick. Button E is the medium kick. And the button F is the strong kick. Well, so to have this concept in mind, um, this is how we're gonna go ahead and program them. And since on my controller, I, on the X button, I want the weak punch and the weak punch is bottom, button A. So we press the button A on our emulator, we're gonna press the button X on the remote, on the controller, I mean. Okay, and on the Y, I want the strong punch, but on the emulator, it's the button C, 
So once we hit button C, we're gonna hit button Y on our controller. Okay, and on button A, I want the weak kick. So that's button D. So on, an, on emulator, we're gonna hit button D for the weak kick, and we're gonna program it with button A on our controller. Okay, and then our button B will be our strong kick. Our strong kick will be button F. So on our emulator, we're gonna hit button F. And then on our controller, we're gonna hit button B. Okay. And then button B is our medium punch. Button E is our medium kick that I want, I want them here on the top. So now we have the weak punch, strong punch, weak kick, strong kick, and then our, our mediums on the top. Medium punch and medium kick. Okay, and this is how it's gonna look in, in the emulator. In your man for joy. Weak punch, weak, weak medium punch, strong punch, weak kick, medium kick, and strong kick at the end. And that's how you're gonna follow the, the steps. Okay, and for our coin, I want it here on our R3. For the start button, I want it here on a regular start. And for our option, I want it here on our select. So let's go back, 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 and let's go ahead and try the buttons. Okay, that's our weak punch, strong punch, weak kick, strong kick, medium kick, and we have the medium punch I love this controller the only thing that I don't like is that for that show you can it's kind of hard to to do that move on this controller which I just need a lot of more practice. I haven't really played the fighting games, but it's a great controller overall. Okay, now see, you see the virtual controllers on the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. We hit options, settings, and then we're gonna go all the way down where it says touch controller visible, and we're gonna uncheck that. And then we're just gonna press back. and that will remove the virtual controllers so you can have better gameplay. Okay, let's go ahead and try them out. So now we're gonna go ahead and reprogram them again. And we're gonna go to options. And we're gonna go to settings. Input. External controller. And we're gonna go to default keys to restore everything the way it was before. Okay, so we're gonna go into mode. Make sure that it's general multi-controller. Define keys. Player one, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and program it as uh, up, up again, down, down button on the controller, left, left, right, right. Okay, so button A. Um, so what we're gonna do here? We're gonna reprogram it again, but this time we're gonna reprogram it like 
the Super Nintendo had it. I don't know if you all remember, like he had the weak punch, medium punch in the front, weak kick, medium kick, and then on the top you had the, the fierce punch and the fierce kick. So we're gonna go ahead and program it like that. Bottom A will be our weak punch, so we're gonna go ahead and hit X. Bottom B is our medium punch, we're gonna hit Y on our controller. Button C is our strong punch. We're gonna hit L1, which is here on the top. Button D is our weak kick. So we're gonna hit button A on our controller. Our medium kick is our button E and we're gonna hit button B on our controller. Button F on our emulator will be our strong kick, which will be R1 on our controller. Okay, and then we're gonna set up the coin, which is R3, this one. I'm gonna start. We'll put it here on the start. Exit, we can leave it like that, but options. I'm gonna place it over here in our L3. So let's go ahead and try it and see if it works. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's go to settings. We're gonna remove the virtual controllers of the screen. Okay, there we go. Shit, he got me. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so that's our weak punch, medium punch, strong punch, weak kick, medium kick, and then our strong kick. Damn it. Let me play one moment. Waking up to the new days without sunlight. But it's alright. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video, and I hope you liked it. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you understood it. If not, uh, you can leave a comment on the notes below. Send me a telegram, Instagram, whichever is easier for you. And friends, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you can get video updates anytime I upload videos. And again, thanks guys. Thanks for the support and have a good one.